All right, let's get on with this. Here he comes now. <laughs> Vegas, Spencer for Hire, American Dreamer, the host of the award-winning National Geographic Explorer Series. Our pleasure to welcome Mr. Robert Urich. I'm going to tell you again, the last two nights you've been absolutely sensational as uh, Mr. Marshall in uh, Blind Faith. The best Thank acting you. I think you. you've ever done. What That's is it? Sorry, Mr. Oh, he's got him. He was such a, a weak guy underneath it all, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, uh, probably a pathological liar. Yeah. And, and so good at it. And, uh, but so charming on the outside. Exactly. Until he got in that courtroom, you know. And I love the scene where, uh, what's it, Dennis, um, the, the prosecutor. Right. What's his name? From Chicago, um, you know. Um, Look at this, how I brought Four years ago, I did this picture. <laughs> wasn't right. This was repeat, right? Years. But he's Dennis, standing there, uh, the prosecutor. who was in the thing in Vegas, the yeah, cop series. Yeah, sure. Uh, Great actor. Not Farina. Uh, Dennis, Dennis Farina, Farina. Farina. yeah. Dennis Farina. My good he's... buddy, pal. <laughs> Close personal friend, Dennis Farina. Oh, but when Farina. you put on the spot like that, it can go yeah. right out Absolutely, here. but he's standing right there, you know, and you didn't have the guts to, other the character, didn't yeah. have the guts to look at him, look at him. Nor did I. <laughs> and this guy is beating your brains out, and you had that look on your face. It was dynamite. You know, we had Joe McGinnis, the author, on our program. Right. And along with the oldest son, uh, the real oldest Right, Robbie. Son, Robbie. Yeah. That was one of the most heartbreaking yeah. experiences, yeah. meeting this young kid who had to face the fact. And even at that time, I'm not sure he was still convinced, because for a long time, the boys believed that their father was innocent, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, I think he, um, uh, there was a scene in the movie that uh, finally convinced him that his father was guilty. The father calls and asks him from the jail yeah. to, to lie about to his him whereabouts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so oh. kind of a giveaway, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But Cal, can you imagine that, having to face the fact that your father Very has difficult. done this? Mm -hmm. Difficult to do. And yeah. they adored their mother. You know, I've been watching you guys for uh, a long time but but quite intently for the last few days knowing that I was coming on and I think you two are perfect candidates for co-host counseling <laughs> <laughs> you guys that could be you we're got... heading we're heading in that direction yeah. um, we've I been think, told we've been I told that, that we have a guys, very big problem ahead you have to find another venue to let these rages it, it, out it's not in, on the show here you know that all it's, it's in her it's astrological chart for this yeah. coming year that which i don't believe in that develops a problem yeah around february we're but about that. letterman i also think that uh, about five years ago when you and frank you know got married he was crushed and and uh, hurt and uh, so, never got over for it. life and it he never be. got over it that's could what be. that's about i gotta tell you right now <laughs> i know david i've done the show and yeah and that's we've, it we've both You've done the show? Yeah. You're doing yeah. it tonight. Yeah, I'm doing it tonight, but I've done it. Yeah. We'll never I, was, do it. I know what you mean. Thank you for that. I was yeah. crushed when you got married. I remember seeing you uh, at the match game. Do you remember doing the match game like 15 <laughs> years ago I or something? I never did the match. A gorgeous, gorgeous man. And about two months later, you married Heather Menzies, right? right? Yeah. So there he goes. <laughs> didn't even get to Another one escaped you. Didn't get to meet him. The <laughs> fallback position was Frank Gifford, one of the great, yeah, I didn't great do football so players of all time. Oh. Wonderful man. You had a college, a football scholarship, didn't you? Yeah, to Florida State. What position I, I, did you Center. Play? I played almost as much football there as Burt Reynolds, Reynolds says he did. <laughs> uh, I was not a big football star. Uh, you played center, Bob? Center, yeah. How cozy. <laughs> Reach! <laughs> a quarterback and a center job. should go hand Very in hand, but not across <laughs> campus. That's, did you hear what he said? I heard what he said, and I'm trying to get on with this interview now. Yeah, let's go. National Geographic. We've you are the host of the National Geographic. Explore. Uh, Explore, which Explore. is not to be confused with uh, the three big specials they do every year on PBS. This mm -hmm. is um, the two-hour show uh, every Sunday night on TBS at 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. And uh, I thought it was time to do something so you classy. I've always wanted to do a show that won awards. And, and this is this it. Is, yeah. <laughs> What's you your know. name associated with an award-winning right. show? Yeah, Emmys. You know, that's that's once we'd like to be a part of that, yeah, too. Yeah. I don't like cheating, but uh, it's a Emmys. wonderful program. And you're very involved, anyway, in the e ecology and in nature yeah. and that sort of thing. So it was a natural marriage for you. Well, for me, I've been looking for a long time. To, I mean, I, I keep busy enough doing movies and miniseries and whatnot. But uh, sometimes, as challenging as they are, they don't bring the kind of satisfaction that uh, something like this can. And and I've, I've been a fan of this show for a long time. And... And, uh, you know, it, it, it's involved with not just the environment and wildlife, uh, uh, but also people and, and, and special events. And uh, I find myself watching it in, in spite of the fact that I'm busy and, and also hosting the show. And, um, 
it's something not to be... It's one of those shows that you can watch with your whole family, which is great. Where, and where you go these on days? all of these exotic locations? Well, so far, I've, I've come here to Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> But they, they promised rats. me. They, they've asked well, me to do things well, like well, jump out of airplanes. Well, what does your role entail? I mean, are, are you on location well, or I, I are you behind be. a desk? I will be. So far, I'm just doing sort of like a host. I'm sort of inviting people to watch and, and, uh, and setting up the, the, the clip like you well, will now. Well, what is, what is the clip that, that we're going to see? Roll now? it. Well, it involves one, one sharks. Of the, yeah, one of the sharks. Uh, this uh, husband and wife team, Ron and Valerie Taylor, They've devoted their life to sharks. I've interviewed Kind of like show business. Yes. Uh, and and they, um, their entire lives have been devoted to mm -hmm. sharks, and they do these great films on, on sharks. And they were also responsible for some of the technical work on Jaws. Uh-huh. Now, they, they're so guilty about scaring the entire planet about, about sharks. sharks, this beast, that um, now they're taking people who are, have a fear of sharks and people who have come in contact, some people who have been attacked by sharks, into the waters with sharks, and having them feed them and to get over their fear. Like they're a dolphin? Yeah, sort of like that. It's an amazing piece. All right, well, let's take a look at it right now, okay? Here it is. Yes. And a bang on the side. Wow. Well, I don't know. Seems like uh, we just scared another 100 million people from, uh, about sharks. I don't think they're going to become great pets. <laughs> That's really something. Yeah, and, there, and there's, there's some great shows coming up. There's one on poaching in America, a three-part series, mm -hmm. and uh, some amazing footage on the Kuwaiti oil fires, the, the guys, the firefighters trying to put out all those mm. oil fires. So Still going years, on. Yeah, it? it is. Mm. All right, so that's on TBS on Sunday nights. Yeah, and replay it again on Mondays. All right, fine. Bob, nice thanks so much for coming back. Good to see you. Well, Robin, you're it. We'll be right back with Antonio Jackson.